Hello everybody, this is Terry Jeanette with the Tapping Flamingo. Today I decided to shoot another video on designing on the spot. I love doing these. Um, so this morning I was scrolling through my Facebook page and I came across a post by SJ Designs Jewelry and she, she has a blog called SJ Designs Jewelry. I'll leave a, um, a link for it her blog in the down below so you can just click on it and look but they have what they call her and her husband they do what they call a honeydew list and this has been going on I think she says this is the fifth year and he I think he's the photographer he'll take a picture of something and then he gives it to her and it's supposed to inspire her to make something okay let me show you the picture and this beautiful flower I love these colors. Do I blow it up a little bit better so you can see? We have a pretty bright yellow. We have lavender and then a deeper purple. And of course the white and there's the green leaf over here. And then in the center we have, um, when you, I see coppers. And it's almost like an antique copper. So there's a little bit of black in there. And of course you have the black background. I'm drawn to this flower because these were actually the colors I had chosen for our wedding 37 years ago. I was talked out of them. I was told to choose two colors. And I wound up being lavender and white. But if I had had my say, this would have been exactly what I wanted. I love yellow. But I was told, since I'm blonde, I should not wear yellow. Guess what? I love yellow. And I don't think I look too bad in yellow. Um, but they talked me into the purple, into the lavenders. Anyway, today I'm going to create something right now that has to do with these colors. Um, so let me go pull some beads and then I'll be back. All right, so I've got my beads all gathered up and I am actually going to be using a bead board because I think I want to do a just a shorter necklace. I may do um, 18 inch. I usually like to do maybe a 16 inch, but I think I'll do an 18 inch and, or maybe a 17 inch. I don't know, we'll see what happens. And then I'll, I'll do a two inch extender on the back. But the, see you can, actually measure how long your necklace is going to be. This is why these bead boards are so good. So if we're going to do an 18 inch necklace, we'll need to um, lay everything out to go uh, up to here. Because 9 and 9 is 18. Now that includes the clasp too, so remember that when you're laying out your beads. And the beads I have, most of them come from bead box bargains in the past. Some beads I have left over. This particular one is, oh, whoops, is um, a dragon's vein agate. Let me remind you of our picture here. It had deep, let's see, let me blow up the purple part. So we have lavenders and deep purple. And here we have deep purples and lavender. So I think this is going to be a perfect strand. So I'm going to go ahead and add it to my bead board. And then the next thing we have are the yellows right there. And I actually had some, this came from a bead box bargain uh, several months ago. I don't remember which month it was, but I had some beads left over for that. So I'm going to use those. And in that same bead box bargain, well, we'll see. I'm going to wait on the green because I have several greens to choose from and I haven't figured out which one. This one's from another bead box bargain and um, it's Mother of Pearl in white. And then for the center will be, I have this copper chain also from a bead box bargain. And I figured I could use this as part of the extender. And 
and then I have for my clasp, I'm going to use this hook and eye. Also from a bead box bargain. And I may use these beads. I don't know. I have several beads to choose from. We have these beads that are in copper, and then we have these. These just came in the September bead box bargain. And then I have some bead caps that I might use, but I don't know. We'll see. Now, as far as the green goes, this, this is a deep green. And at first, I was thinking about using these. And these came from this month's bead box bargain. I don't remember which month that was. But I don't know. Then I saw these. These, I may use these. But then I've got, these did not come from a bead box bargain. They're glass beads, and there's some leaf beads in there. So let me open some of these up. Oh, and then there's these. I don't know. I have to, I'm going to have to figure it out. But what I'm going to do is get set up to show you how I'm going to create, and then we'll figure it out. All right, so here we go. I went ahead and laid out the clasp. And I'm going to have to remember to take an allowance that I will be having um, some um, type of way I'm going to string my cord on. And let me go ahead and just start. I just start laying them out, just putting them out there. All right, so we have all these really pretty purple agates here. And we got some yellow. And let's see, let's just kind of put them here. They may or may not stay there, but just kind of gives you an idea of what these are going to look like. I don't really like the fact that the yellow is not popping. So we may have to figure out something to make the yellow pop. Maybe add another one there and one over here. That's probably all we're going to need. Okay, and let's get the white. I thought I had some um, larger mother of pearl beads, but I must have used them in a another project because those would have been really pretty but maybe this is what we need so let's see if we can maybe get these to pop a little bit more actually I like that they definitely these yellow are definitely popping more when you flank them with the white now this one here see when we go ahead and some of these agates are not as yellow as I like them, so I may switch them out. In fact, I see several of them like that. And we're not going to need all these. Let's see. Oops. Is that everything? Wait a minute. Got an extra bead here. Like I said, I need to take into consideration. Okay, here we go. And I, I only have two more of these. Have one more of these beads. No, I, actually two. Here's another one. So all 
All right, I don't think I'm going to need those. All right, now I want to get a little bit of copper in here. And I did want to change some of these very light yellows out. I've got one, two, three, four that I want to do that. So let's see if we can find some brighter yellows here. So here's one. Switch out for that. I kind of like these. They have um, all different kinds. I like the variation of yellows and whites in there. So I'll switch this one out. Um, I guess there's only oh, this one out. And I got one more I got to switch out. There. All right. I think I got it all. Put these back. Now, the next thing I would like to do, yeah, I'll do those later, <laughs> is add some copper in here. And there's these beads I failed to mention earlier that I could actually add in here. Uh, where are the bead tips or the bead caps? I could do bead caps, but you know, I think these are a little small for these. So I don't think I'm going to use those. So we'll set those aside. And I still have to do green. Uh, let's see. Should I do this green or maybe this green? That leaf seemed dark to me. So let's see what these look like. And, hmm. Maybe I could switch out. I could do this several ways. Maybe I could go like every other yellow with green. So we have yellow, green, yellow, green, yellow, green, yellow, green. That gives it a little bit more interest there. So we've got yellow, green, yellow, green, whoops, yellow, green, and then yellow. Now we we did not end with the same, but that's okay. I'm okay with that. And then I want to put some of these in there, or maybe I do want to go back to the bead caps, or I'm actually going to see if I have some larger bead caps in copper, because I might. So I will be right back. All right, so I did not have enough of one kind of bead cap. I needed 26 bead caps, and I think the most in anything I had was like 14. So let's figure this out. Maybe I can switch out. I think I'm going to use these. So switch out these. Okay, we'll start with this. What I did was I, I looked to see what was the middle. So I just went down like this, and we, we have odd number. So I'm going to start right there. And then we have these two, so get rid of these. And we have these two, and then get rid of these. See how things just kind of develop? You, It's a lot of trial and error. Got these and then now that kind of shrunk us down a little bit because of the smaller beads. Just scooch everything down. 
By the way, these are the um, bead tips I was talking about. All right, we have some, you know, I have noticed I say all right a lot, and I really apologize for that. Anyway, so we have this area here where we need to put some beads. Uh, but before we do that, I know at first I did not want to put a focal on this, but as this is developing, I think I want to put a focal on it. And I haven't decided. I've got these two here, and I could either do a small one or a larger one. And this one I just wire wrapped with some copper colored wire. It's actually copper wire um, that they've, uh, here, let me show you. I, I'm not really for sure. It's copper, but it's very, a very dark, almost brown copper. So I don't know how they go about creating that, but this is 18 gauge, soft. Now well, let's see, let's take this little guy out. Put him in the middle. I don't know if I like the bigger one or the smaller one, or if I'd like the bigger one. I think I like the smaller one. Basically what I did is I took a piece of wire and cut it a certain length. I'll go ahead and do it so you can see how I do it. Feed it through the hole that was already there. That's a natural hole. That's actually how the little creature gets out of his little home there. And then I just twist Sometimes when you twist these they're not as neat and pretty as this one is and that's okay because the next step you're going to actually not really see the imperfection and this is okay that it's a little bit longer than the one side's a little bit longer, but you can either use round nose pliers. I like to use these, and I usually use the bigger end, or just use a pencil. But I go ahead and I wrap it around, and I just keep wrapping. And I'm not going to finish up here, but when I get toward the end, I just take a pair of flat nose pliers and keep continue to wrap it until the ends are not seen and then I, I squeeze the ends underneath any of these things just kind of squeeze them and just feel around to make sure they're they're not poking out so that's what I did with you see if I can find the ends see they're tucked way inside there and so you won't be able to feel it on your skin but that's how I wrap those and you could just wrap those and just put them on a chain all right, so now we've got, there I go again, all right. <laughs> we've got to finish up here. So we'll do purple. And here's these little beads. And then I got a little bit left there, but I don't have enough. I'm gonna leave it because I think I may be adding a little bit more. Hmm. Am I done? So that actually makes it a 17 inch, which I said I was either going to do, let me see, let me make sure. I was either going to do a, an 18 or a 17 inch. So this is going to be 17 inches, and then I'll put an extender on it, maybe. I may have to – well, let me go ahead and string these up, and then I'll be back 
and we'll see what we can come up with. So I've adjusted things a little bit. Actually, I got interrupted. I had an important phone call that I needed to take. And so while I was dealing with that, things changed a little bit here. <laughs> and uh, let me show you what happened. So when I was putting this focal on, these two beads were actually these really tiny, tiny mother of pearls. And they were, they were going through the hole there. Okay, where's my, they actually, see how they go through? And so sometimes I would run the risk of the shell not being in the middle. It would be lopsided. So I needed to have beads that were not going to go inside the hole. So what I did is I, I used these two purple um, agates here, and they will not, this, they're not going to slide through the hole. So it will stay centered, which kind of made things off a little bit. So, and this is what happens when you, des when you start designing. And unless you have a pattern, sometimes it's going to take a little while. And this is why a lot of one-of-a-kind items cost what they do. When you go to um, a boot, like a regular store, a chain store, and I'm not going to name any clothing stores, but to buy something and you see a necklace there, that is something that's been um, manufactured multiple times. Thousands and thousands of those necklaces around, and it's a pattern. This, on the other hand, I mean, somebody else may come up with a design. I mean, when you, when you say one of a kind, that doesn't mean that it's not ever going to be anywhere else. But you're not going to see thousands of them out there. Um, and when you look at the cost of something, these are not only are they real beads. We got agate and mother of pearl here. Um, but you have the time that's put into it. So that's why you got to kind of remember... You know, when you do buy things off of Etsy that are handmade or any uh, marketplace, time has gone into it. But anyway, I uh, am going to go ahead and finish this up, but I wanted to show you what happened. So I'm not, I don't have to lay them out because I can just go, basically it's going to be the opposite of this. So I have these two here. My next one that I'm going to beat on will be the white one, then the yellow one, then the white one. Anyway, I just go like that. So let me go bead these up and then I will be back. All right, I have it all strung up. I don't have it put together yet, but I went ahead and added another, um, let's see, I'm gonna have to get another green because I added another section here. I was able to do that. this here okay so we're looking at this is going to be about 19 inches so I am actually not going to put an extender to it uh, for somebody like me that's smaller through the shoulders uh, it will um, probably lay a lot like the necklace I have on maybe a little bit longer but this is not a bad length and somebody that's uh, a little bit thicker through here it will fall a little shorter uh, I don't think it's going to be a choker style, but that's not what I wanted. Uh, but I really like the way this has turned out. And when I look at my inspiration piece, my inspiration picture, I think I've pretty much got spot on there. Anyway, let me finish this up. I'm all finished. I love the way this turned out. Let me show you what I did. A little recap here. So I laid everything out on the beadboard to kind of get an idea of what I wanted to do. I started out thinking I wanted to do more of a longer choker style, just a row of beads. But as things developed, I decided to uh, add a focal. And then when I did that, it kind of rearranged some of the beads a little bit. But like I said, that's okay. That's all part of designing. And that's why when you purchase something like this, it does cost a little bit more than if you were to go to your local uh, dress chain store 
and purchase something that thousands and thousands were made of because this is more of a one of a kind. So we have agate. This is Dragon's Vein agate in purple. And then we have um, Mother of Pearl and some more agate and glass beads. I used copper um, bead caps. I got a copper bead there. And then um, the way I finished this off was with a copper clasp, a little fancy hook and eye clasp. And I've got some uh, copper bead caps there. And I used, these are called clamshell bead tips. I used those to finish them off. Wire wrapped uh, a shell that I found when I was beach combing on Cocoa Beach, Florida, which is very close to my hometown. And there you have a finished product. I think it's about 19 inches in length, which is a pretty good length. What do you think? I hope you give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and if you like these uh, creating on the spot, let me know and I'll do some more of them. I actually like video th videoing them. Anyway, I'm going to let y'all go now. Y'all have a wonderful day. This is Terry Jeanette with the Tapping Flamingo signing out for now. Bye-bye.